What's going on guys and gals? My name is Bryson from Beast and S Dames and guys you want to get the raid done I want to get the raid done so without further less to do let's gonna go and hop into part two of our destiny Leviathan raid guide this time guys we are looking at the bathhouse doing this part of the raid is in all honesty my favorite part of the entire raid simply because as we probably all know this entire raid that destiny has put together for us involves communication Bungie with their new title was apparently really really excited to make sure players interacted and communicated with each other so every single stage of this leviathan raid involves you being in almost timeless communication with your teammates in order to get things done at the same time now the bathhouse guys is by far the easiest part of any of the raid following maybe besides the original starting room and it operates on a very simple system the way it works guys is when you first enter into the room you're going to be welcomed by a entire well bathhouse filled with a toxic floor with some kind of i guess you want to call it some kind of fluid or chemical on the ground you can't touch this guys touching this is going to end up doing damage to you it's going to hurt you standing in it so long will eventually clear you that's why also located around the room you're going to have in each corner you will have these four different platforms on the platforms will be these little glowing globe thingies you you see these orbs are we're going to be able to walk across to be able to gain a buff called psionic protection while you have the buff guys, you can walk anywhere on the map, even through the liquid, and you will not be damaged at all. So, what this is going to occur is, let's do the math here. Four different protection buffs, six fire team members. Somebody's going to have to go without, and it's going to be Jeffrey, because fuck Jeffrey. Nah, we're not going to screw Jeffrey over, guys. We need him, for now. The way this is going to work is, with four different positions on the map, you and you are going to spend four fire team members are going to be in each one of those platforms, and then on the middle will be a fifth additional platform where you'll have your two waiting fire team members that will grab the buff when you first start the encounter. Now, once you have your two fire team members in the middle and four on the corners, the encounter will start up. And this is where a very simple rotation system has to follow, guys. Go ahead and just follow the animation that I have here on the screen, guys. All you have to do is you can either split your fire team up where you could have the north and the south three-man team running this. Or perhaps maybe the left and the right fire side team members. All that's going to involve is one of your free team members is going to rotate with the two members that are on platforms. This is going to result in kind of a little infinity sign cycle back and forth where the middleman will relieve, let's say, side A. Side A will then go to the middle, grab the buff, go relieve side B. That new side B man will go back to the middle, refresh his buff, and he will just repeat that cycle, guys. Doing this with a team of three you all will be able to stay on the platforms long enough for you to be able to maintain your psionic protection. And while doing this, while you are standing on that platform, that you will notice the chains in front of you will start lowering. Now, while these chains are lowering, guys, you are going to get the occasional visit by the, you know, your special fat-ass friend. And no, it is not yours truly. It instead is a ceremonial bather. This guy will be riding the chains up, and he's going to be there to just welcome you and give you the big old two-act surprise. Take him out as twitch you can, guys. You have a couple seconds when he's first riding up the chain. Toss grenades, heavy weapon ammo, anything to be able to drain his health. Your rotating man may help you. His, that's his job is there to be able to make sure you can stay on that platform consistently to make sure those chains are constantly lowering. Once all four of those chains are lowered, this starts the very end of this encounter, guys, where the entire fire team was going to need to run to the very center of the map where you first picked up that refreshing buff, stand on that platform, There'll be nine lanterns you'll have to be able to shoot in the story in the time frame before your buff runs out. Now, this is very important, guys. Notice, the only way you're going to be able to do damage to the lanterns is if you're standing in that center circle while shooting at the lanterns. Though, while you are shooting at the lanterns, you are still going to have those constant ads coming at you. So, it would be wise to designate, if not one, perhaps even two fire team members to go ahead and be able to manage the ads while the other four do damage to the lanterns. Heavy rocket launchers, guys, heavy ammo, any kind of long-ranged ults or grenades are going to play a big role in doing some heavy damage to those lanterns. But if you somehow manage to go through an entire rotation and you don't destroy all nine, this is not a force of a wipe. Your fire team can simply go back to their original positions. You can run through it again, re-lower the chains, and you get another shot at the lantern. Just go ahead and take about two minutes, guys, to set up your teams before you start the encounter. And maybe after one or two tries, if it's your first time doing the raid, it should be no problem at all. It's very easy, very simple. Just talk to your friends, and by far, it should be a fun time. This is my personal favorite part of the entire raid. 
Do this with one rotation if you're very good, two rotations if you have two guys, and afterwards, once all the lanterns are wiped out, the chest will spawn in the room, and from there, it'll open up, and you'll be able to grab your loot and move on to the next part of the raid. Now, this is where the secret lever portion of the guide comes into effect, guys. Now, if you want to, you can go back to the original starting area and do the whole key grinding thing again, but who wants to do that? You want to do the cheesy stuff. You want to do the elite stuff. You want to see the secret parts of the ship. What you can do instead, guys, are there are two different levers located in the bathhouse that will take you to different sections of the underbelly of the Leviathan. One of those is a simple lever system. As you can see right here, what I'm doing now, it's just pulling these four levers that look like snake heads in an order which makes it look like a U. So starting with this one, following by that one, then that one, following by the one I'm standing in front of, and doing all those in the right order, we're opening up a vent which was previously right next to the top right hand platform and from there you can hop down and you can go and you can venture off into the next part of the raid the other option is right in front of the center platform when you first walk into the raid there are four little pressure pads hidden by you know, jars or jugs just shoot them melee them destroy them and then have your four team members stand on those pressure plates and it'll open up a side door in the bottom right platform yeah right next to that one that one will open up and it'll lead you to a different section of the underbelly of the ship. It's a good way guys if you already have some keys to go ahead and turn those bad boys in so that way you can start stacking up more and more of that Leviathan raid loot. Now guys if you did find this guide helpful please do let me know or if there's any questions you still do have about this portion of the raid go ahead and ask them in the comments I'll be able to help you guys out any way I can. And also if you have any other questions involving Destiny 2 at all please don't be afraid to ask. Don't hesitate at all. So, I hope you guys have a fun time with the raid. I hope you all get that sexy raid gear you're all shooting for. And I hope to see you guys out there in the world of Destiny 2. Love you guys. Hope you all have a crispy, fantastic day. And I'll see you guys and gals in the next video. And remember, stay crispy. Stay fucking crispy.